Brighton the peer come a part of the industry don't take money from people it's not good it's not good whether adapted when ataka pesa ngapi it's not good welcome to bed palace kenya home of quality affordable and luxurious beds we have also diversified to classic sofas visit our showroom in vindigwa kiambu road opposite quickmart as well as roy sambu thika road contact us on 0725 414842 bed palace the ultimate solution to insomnia Hello guys this is Mr. A lot more your senior Udaku reporter and of course a lot more is coming I am coming to you live from NK Studios and today I'm joined by one comrade Flava jamaa anapiga kazi yake safi is the only guy who has two silver buttons apart from me mimi mwenyewe niko na tatu mzee mnasema nini i'm hosting this guy because a lot has been happening in the industry and he is the chairman of small boys takua nikipiga stone na yeye tujue mambo iko namna gani because kumekuwa na issues mingi za watu kuchangisha pesa inasemekana wanakata tax na nikaona you know what let me get this chairman on the show atupige story atuambie mambo iko namna gani mbona vijana wanapiga kazi jinsi ambayo inakuwa na, inakuwa questionable you know so and guys this episode is proudly sponsored by bed palace KE tuko located pale Kiambu Road Thindigwa opposite Quick Mart uh, supermarket na pia tuko Thika Road opposite Customer unatokea pale kwa exit ya Risambo kila kitu kitakuwa ni shwari guys by the way let me tell you something watu wangu wa United States Sweden Germany UK Australia Qatar Saudi Arabia anyone who is outside Kenya na ungependa kununulia mtu wako kitanda ungependa kununulia your mother your dad your loved ones kitanda just dm me pale instagram uniambie unataka kitanda na unataka kioko apeleke hiyo kitanda mwenyewe tutapanga kabisa kabisa kitanda itengenezwe alafu mimi mwenyewe nitaichukua nipelekee ule mtu ambaye utaniambia it doesn't matter ako pande gani ya Kenya so guys Ah uh, ukitaka kama unataka kuchukua direct DM pale Instagram uh, Bed Palace KE na kila kitu kitakuwa ni shwari as well namba iko pale chini to sort mambo kabisa inakuwaje mzee mzima comrades <laughs> flavor Shukran sana thank you it's been long yeah, it's barely been... one year sindio 10 yeah, months eh hey, nikapa here we always have one interview one exclusive interview <laughs> anyone anyway, proud yeah. nice place maze yeah. niko very much honored yeah welcome to nk studios we actually launched this place uh, like two weeks ago na umekaribishwa sana mzee unajua last time tulifanya interview kwa kichaka yeah tulifanya kwa kichaka and i'm quite impressed maze when i grow up i'd like to be like you maze toka hapa quietly quietly this is a very good move you are doing something different with a very good touch of tunasema progress it's something nice maze yeah thank you so much you know wakati mimi nimekuwa na naonanga mr university mr mr university mr uh, mr un Nik, nik, yeah, am i getting it right tbt yeah. mr the university of nairobi but you nikitambo yeah. mazani yeah. wani jaluo lazima uweke the university of nairobi that's the title even the night <laughs> but do we say like it and it's not okay na ndio leo je tumepoteleana sana mzee kazi ni safi tunapiga kazi mzee si huko kwetu moto ni kupumzika ni binguni mzee yeah. yeah, hatuwezi tulia that's your motto. from january 1 yeah. to december yeah. 31 yeah kazi 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 and uh, of camera to keep bigger story you, you just told me you've sensitized three couples already na sign saa saba sign saa saba yeah, i've already done three contents mm-hmm. uh, three of them na ziko hapo zinashughulikiwa na editor mm-hmm. eh, na saa zingine si upiga hata tano hata sita hata kumi yeah. eh, ikiamua ni kazi ni kazi yeah. eh, so ukiona na konda hivi ni kazi <laughs> konda mzee but uli pata ga wife mambo ni mengi bro yeah. masando machache <laughs> Hiyo ndio moto yetu huko sasa wife by the way on a serious not mm. yeah very seriously with kids with a kid i have a wife yeah wow last time tukifanya interview ulikuwa na wife pia ulikuwa na ulikuwa shupa kind of yeah. hey, ni complicated yeah. issue bro yeah. ni umeka umeka mambo yako private mzee who uh, depend bro okay life in anger making scheme i keep telling people even ukieka public or private there's no difference mm. 
kama nilikuwa prone kwa chana mtachana whether feature or feature but for all good reasons na for maybe the nature of job i do i just choose it kukuwa private so that ni mimi ni jeke at limelight ya risk na vitu zote yeah yeah uh, um in a nutshell you've uh, been in the game for quite some time you've broken so many couples you've uh, umeleta watu wengine pia pamoja ume break couples ngapi so far mzee I've broken and I've helped several couples but I can assume I've done actually I was celebrating my second anniversary two weeks ago that was on this month not two weeks ago barely a week ago 4th of August you know my second in YouTube and then I can say God is great by the way I've done over 900 contents so I've worked with over 800 couples up to date 800 over 800 plus and we thank God and you're looking forward to doing more actually I'll retire at 40 so we are just getting started moto yangu na kuanga atujaanza na nothing can block us we do it uh, with the positive aim of helping Kenyans kuachanua na kuwasaidia yeah perfect kabisa mzee so um there was a story that ilikuwa inakimbia sana a few months ago about wewe na kibe there is a video kibe alipata kaika pale online na kuchana kabisa how did that affect you as a person first of all and how did it affect uh, what you do personally meaning to i embrace critics and being that i'm right or being that is right doesn't mean i'm wrong you only to i always insist it is always good to disagree to agree but unajua personally if someone doesn't reach me directly and ask me what do you do he may kinda rank me as the rest unajua when you watch me and you watch the rest you think we are the same but i always in- emphasize on my content ni kusensitize just creating awareness nothing else unaweza pata someone comes and just criticizes something he does not understand and not to say is wrong or not to say i'm also wrong so i didn't feel any difference that's why i didn't reply and normally na kuanga very busy i don't care whatever people say at the end of the day if i can achieve what brought me on this earth that's the best thing yeah what what would be a message to him on that camera there Let me be honest with you. Unaona when I dress Mr. Kibe, he's always not he's always he's sometimes right in many things. In many, you know something we agree. Kuna some things which is wrong because even him he knows perfectly that he's not right. Unaona always. So if he feels he's right in his path, well and good. Sina shida apige kazi because we are in the same industry and apige and educate some people of which me pia na unanga watu wengine deserves to be educated by him. So sina shida apige tu kazi. I feel I'm wrong somewhere it's good to correct a brother well and good sinanga shida na hiyo yeah perfect kabisa mze uh, comrades triplets waliandaga wapi wale your story to like this my one year ago one year ago story liisha unajua i saw stories online training ikisema kana ni kama wameisha awasikiki kabisa ni kama walikosa naga i mean i'm not asking Ma, ma penzien, I'm not talking about that. I'm just asking do you maybe know their whereabouts? Okay, they chose to go private for the longest time because unajua handling social media pressure at times can be hard because many people would want to be on the limelight if but if you are not ready to handle ngumu. So they chose to, to to take a break but they are handling themselves but they are safe and sound. They are doing great. Yeah. Perfect. Let's talk about eh buda uko na channel mbili. Si umejaa maziwa mzee. <laughs> you have to uh silver plugs. How does it feel? Ulifikaji your level bro. First of all by then unanga watu who create channels, especially people who are almost the same field as I do creating second channel for. The reason first of all why I created my second channel first of all, I want to tell you something with the, most people who do sensitization. I don't know how many do it but I think siju wengine ufanya maybe loyalty test but unapatanga most of sa zingine unapata strike sa zingine most of those videos are not monetized maybe i'm doing your violence unajua you cannot force people how they should be even when they are angry and then they are cursing what they need mingi unapata youtube me limit so by the time nilikuwa napatia shida i had issues with someone barely it was last year if you are following your program that's why i had a backup channel and then i realized instead ya kwachi channel hivi let me use it for follow ups so that i can have a program you know my channel i have a program in that in comrades flavor we do sensitization then people are like wanna get bored there is how youtube works youtube and that's what many people don't know you know now when you are used to this ukileta follow up i party views so in a pull youtube chini 
but i wanted a specific segment different if you want to do follow ups because kuna watu wanasema unaitochosha na hizi vitu we want new things so kama hujachoka come to this program kama umechoka do this program una get the whole point so hii ni ya ku sensitize hii ni ya follow ups i'm doing follow ups up to tunaangalia tuna update and we do even two years follow ups tuna update watu vile vitu zinaendelea na tunaendelea hivyo and we thank god hii ingine ilipata silver button two weeks ago uh, barely one year ni kitu ndiliingia one year kitu two weeks ago yeah perfect perfect so what would be a, because you have two channels and they are they are both successful what would what would be your message to people out there when you want to struggle na subscribers when you are hata wajafika 1000 wana fail ku give up what would be your message to them my message you don't give up everyone was once there hata huyu ulikuwa hapo ki struggle there is always a breaking point for every man and woman that is something people must know but there is also something fruits of struggling because i realize people who just grow subscribers overnight find it hard to sustain those channels so struggle is you learn struggle is you learn but believe me you don't give up there's a day you'll be better than us you'll be greater up yeah true uh, you guys uh, i mean you do sensitization if, uh, if i mean you do sensitization others do uh, loyalty tests you guys have been accused of looting money maybe kuchangisha pesa following a certain story nini uh umeo changisha pesa wewe as comrade flavor okay i'll be very honest in my channel first of all people follow me who are die hard will tell you adi juzi a video did yes juzi someone posted kwa comment steve i know you are not for kuchangisha but tafadhali tuchangishie huyu i always insist this is not a charity camp my channel first of all and that's why ukaisikia any subscriber amekuambia kuna namba yangu nimeweka ametuma they are free to comment ni warudishie pesa but there's a story i did there are four people who amepatiwa pesa i think six i'll start every clean couple i post their number si uchangishe appreciate if i get a clean couple i give you 12 g's and then people appreciate unajua unaweza sema give them from your pocket from my pocket most of the things i give the money you can ask channel yangu inakwanga i start as an example i give 12 then tell people If you are interested appreciate them not through my number, number. through their number actually wengine atasifanyi the only track sasa zingine mtana ni call artist vo people are calling people are appreciating asema sasa from there you help yourself and leni kana mama vizuri but there is a particular story i did na uh, ilichangisha over 300k by the way there is a story of oscar na bibi yake flani mkamba tu those people i met them they were clean by the way and they were young couple see young per se i think oscar could be 29 30 and the wife wamekuwa wakipitia shida mingi plus the kid ako na problem hizi tembea ako na issues mingi tu technical actually i did it naweza kukuonyesha kwa chat unajua rumors si nzuri those people walichangisha pesa through their number not my number and i even told them one thing ukipatiwa this is lois unaona we always talk hata the latest talk hapa ni ya he is improving therapy wise bado hajaanza kutembea juu hajaka chini peke yake mikono imeanza imemzuia but ukimsikia these are the things we talk unaona good morning tulienda tukapata results zilitokea mtu ya kwa fit to undergo surgery but walimfanyia post surgery it took all in kasema oh, but kuna positivity we really chat atanipatia updates I told them if you get money first of all I I want to track what do you do because says it kwa pesa zao ita ni idea I also make money I have two channels on why would I still cheap in kuchukua ya mtoto mgonjwa hata Mungu atakuona aseme uko na nini mbaya but sasa it comes when uh, kuna pia some people I don't know their intentions but I always feel if you have a problem I do face problems every day kuna time hata mimi nakuwa mgonjwa utaona nimeweka namba yangu changisha do this and i don't actually know udajua i don't follow all youtubers and i don't know their stories they also don't know mine so whatever i can't pendangi ku comment kitu sijaona but what i can tell other youtubers pay it's not a good thing if something is genuine trust me kama ni namba mtu anachangisha let it be there it's open kama mimi nimekwambia walichangisha go look for those people they were in gudurai i have their number unaweza wa call go give them interview mtoto ni don't bring some funny kids ati ndio huyu mtoto ndio huyu bibi yangu nini no 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 i'm not for that and i discourage that completely it's something in tarnish the industry's name and people to work hard kama adu akimekushinda acha yeah uh, recently kumekuwa na two stories um, number one 
let's talk about Brighton the PL na Truke uh, I mean I've seen you with Truke uh, before na as we speak Brighton uh, inasemekana kwamba his family has been abducted has been uh, which is the has been uh, kidnapped that's the best word to use wame wame, wame kidnapiwa hawajulikani kwenye wako nini there was another story uh, sijui nani amekufa alifufuka juzi mambo tu mingi sana mbona unacheka <laughs> mbona unacheka in the first place <laughs> unatiwa in the first place okay i don't follow youtubers but i'll be very sincere cuz most of the time niko field ni spoke field i edit so these stories actually ni juzi juzi nimeona vitu zina trend trend and i don't blame myself or blame them cuz hata kuna watu wa ni follow wewe kuna unajua story nilipost jana you are equally busy unaona but uh, true key first of all true key gave me a call it could be a month ago or a three weeks ago bibi akakiwa oc sijua amepata shida and estimates you know people if you are in the same industry hata wewe unaweza niambia bibi yako kuna shida si you go visit someone eh, so i just made a courtesy visit hapo niliona tulimtembelea fruits nini nikatoka but to be honest i don't dig deep in people's personal lives that's tai kuwa part sana but when you tell me you are sick umelala hapa nitakuja so whether you are sick or you are pretending i don't know bright on the pl i don't have not been following the guy so i don't know much about him but naskiz is a story actually i was watching those things kwa channel yako naona sijui nani amekufa nani amefufuka i don't know i don't believe in uchawi i don't know how those things exist eh. but where i always insist pia kama part of the industry don't take money from people it's not good it's not good whether adapted wanataka pesa ngapi it's not good eh, cuz if it was about taking money hata sisi tuna we have the saddest story i think I, i'm ranked as having most of the saddest story after linguki na pesa itokange hata shilingi yeah uh, what would be your message to him to be specific on that camera you talk to brighton what is your message uh, because just as the chairman of the small boys of the small people of the guys who do i mean the sensitization thing the loyalty test no i will be very honest with him and frank even though we are in the same industry if at all what you are saying is true the best but if at all you are cooking things it's high time people mess everyone can go a mess people make mistake just come public talk to people apologize it makes a lot of sense because uh, i said this and don't be shy everyone messes i mess personally but if whatever you're doing is wrong it's not good especially extorting people from nimeona biggest victims who watch us from gaf from diaspora and they are always quick to support tafadhali just come out i did it. i don't want to say we are enemies some nini but i'm saying if at all that story is not true come out apologize fans ni human beings they'll forgive you now when they but don't trend or take advantage especially in kiona places and i want to be very honest with content creators not that i'm perfect whenever mtana chora kitu be very keen when you are using your kid sometimes some things may happen in life and it will be the worst thing in life yeah do anything but don't include your kid those are the worst mistakes people make in social media views come and go even money come and go naweza ibia watu 10 million na ugongwe na yoga yako kufe haitakuwa imekusaidia ni hayo tu ni hayo tu kwa sasa there are so many people out there who look up to you bro wana sang wana kuangalia hivi wallahi mamangu nataka kuwa kama comrades flavor nataka kuwa kama stevo i mean talk to those guys out there it's not too late guys size just start actually the pain of pro- procrastination is worse than the pain of not trying so try today it's a matter of baby step and this fame overnight is not good actually most people wana sumu wanataka tu fame overnight at naweza ingia aje nianze hivi niezi just mdogo mdogo it's a process we are there you are seeing me two years two years behind ungeniona sikwa na hope sikwa anyone but two years here i am i don't know who two years i'll be maybe nitakuwa worse than you or better than you but try there is hope we can make it you can make it yeah perfect The story ambayo iko pale kwa mtandao sana sana kwa blogs kwa zile articles the story is that you make millions on youtube my brother and i equally spend millions producing content on youtube <laughs> to say that actually i don't look at my content as for making money because i would be the richest person but occasionally i use a lot of money i use money i meet people 
Unaona sasa hizo za kuchangisha mimi sasa upatia what I tell my fans usichange pesa let me do investigation. Nikipata mtu ako na shida sasa mtu akitaka shida za 50k. Must I tell my fans wachange. Kuna place unatoa from your pocket patia huyu basic things. Just the only thing is that I kiss and don't tell. I'm this one person uta yona nikiposta. But I'll tell my fans and they believe in me. Huyu tumemsaidia msijali. Hata kama watu wanataka mchango nini. So even if I make you can make 10 million and spend and your expenditure is 12 million I kusaidi. Unaona? Hakuna kitu. Yeah, so rumors are right and wrong at the same time. Nizungumza na my fans. If you are watching this continue following us guys. We love you so much and it's always good to support one another and I'd say parting shot kupumzika ni binguni. And for anyone doing content or any of my competitors or friends, I will tell you a comrade quote as a comrade that before you swallow a coconut seed, you must mind the size of your anus. Usijilete shida yenye itakushinda kutoka. Asante. Thank you so much my brother for showing up for this interview. Uh, Tungefa kufanya interview jana, but yeah. tukakuwa busy sana, tukakosa kuonana. And uh, I must... Uh, testify that you are a very busy man. Thank you. So thank you so much for making time to be with us here. Thank you so much guys for watching in my kwani kipiga story na Steve Bigman. I to comrades flavor. Mambo ni mengi, muda ni mchache. Mr. Lotmo is out, but I will be back with some other amazing content. Bye bye.